Hiya fishy folks and welcome back to Michael's Fish Room. Today, how I clean my guppy fry tanks. Grab yourself a healthy snack and beverage. Stand by. All right, fishy folks, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be talking about my method for how I clean guppy fry tanks. Now let me just give you a little bit of backstory about these guppy fry tanks because even though I have 60 breeding for profit tanks in my fish room, I do import guppies, uh, I don't know, once a month, maybe twice a month, depending on business. And typically when you get the guppies from uh, the wholesaler in foreign countries, they come in little tiny bags of water. I'll link my most recent unboxing video here for you. But they come in little tiny bags of water with an ounce or two of water in them. And uh, every now and again you get lucky and there's fry in there. Now normally what I do is I just put everybody together, uh, all the guppies, mamas, babies, daddies, and uh, put them in their quarantine tank and just, you know, let them go. And usually most of the fry get eaten because they're tender and delicious. But this time I decided I was going to raise the guppy because quite frankly, they're just free dollar signs, right? It's, it's free money essentially. So uh, I set up three small tubs and uh, a guppy breeding or guppy fry raising tanks is, is what they are. So I'm just gonna go over that and how I clean them. Stand by. All right, fishy folks, here are the three uh, guppy raising tanks, guppy fry raising tanks. And basically these are just two uh, plastic shoe boxes I had in the fish room. I don't even know where they came from. And that was uh, <clears throat> another small container I had in the fish room uh, that I just happened to grab because I needed something. I had three separate strands. As you can see, there's no filtration in them, just an air stone and some Java moss. And uh, I've had no losses uh, from these guppies. Now, I do have to figure out what they are because I didn't label them because I'm an idiot. Emotional, damn it! So, I linked the video before, I'll link it again here. If you guys go through the video and see what fry these are, I would really appreciate it because I don't, I don't really know. I think these are albino blue lace, maybe? Or albino bluegrass. <clears throat> uh, I think these are, I don't remember. And I think these are uh, red lace. I, I don't remember getting any other red guppies, but they don't really look like red lace at this point. But what are you, you going to do? Anyway, you can see there's a lot of mulm on the bottom. Not really a lot, but more than I would like if uh, in tanks that don't have filtration. If there was a tiny sponge filter in here, I wouldn't really care. Now let's just talk about the nitrogen cycle. Um, obviously, the beneficial bacteria needs a place to grow and it grows on every surface, every surface. In addition, I do do partial water changes in these probably two or three times a week manually, which is what I'm gonna show you how to do. All right, folks, um, set up just one airline from my uh, system comes down to this gang valve and then three separate air stones. Um, I didn't have any more never clog air stones from Zis. So these, this is what I had in stock. This one is actually from Japan, um, but yeah. So without further ado, let's clean the tanks. All right, fishy folks, you need some very specialized equipment for this procedure. It's not for everyone. You need some old airline tubing <clears throat> and something to put the water in. I like to use my dip and pours, viewers, whatever you call them. Uh, this way I can see if I suck up any fry. It's that simple. All right, fishy folks, first things first. <clears throat> you put the business end in the guppy fry tank. Then you create a suction. Once that's flowing, you just start basically spot cleaning the tank. Now, this really will take a long time if you have a lot of mom or your airline gets clogged. Now luckily uh, there are some tiny snails in here but not really that many and I do have the snails for a purpose. Uh, they do help keep things a little bit neat and tidy. Uh, and I don't mean cleaning like the sides because I don't care what it looks like but they do eat uneaten food and help maintain the water. Alright fishy folks you just go around the tank as I am doing. 
clean up as much mold as you can. Now the guppies in this tank uh, are probably too big to fit through the airline, but uh, I do have some of the albinos next door that will fit. And so the reason why I use a clear uh, container is so I can check and see if I suck up any of the baby fry. That's right, baby fry, not just fry, baby fry. Now I have a little bit of a problem. As you can see, I've entangled the java moss. Simply take it out. Now, once you uh, finish cleaning, the way you stop this ginormous suction from the airline is simply raise it out of the water and that breaks the vacuum. Then I clean it out. Then I look in my container here and I see if I see any fry. I do not. Now this water is golden if you have any plants, whether they're indoor or outdoor plants, this water is golden. We're gonna go ahead and clean the second tank. I will show you that as well. Start the suction, try not to drink any fish tank water. It's not that tasty. And then do the same thing. And you're gonna do that to all your tanks if you have more than one. Now, like I said, these guys in here, not only are they uh, harder to see because they have virtually no color, but they are a little smaller. In my experience, uh, albinos do grow slower. Now I have sucked up a snail, and so there's two ways you can fix this. My preferred way is just to reach in and simply crush the snail. And then it uh, gets sucked up because the vacuum isn't broken. There's still suction, it's just clogged. Uh, and that's that, fishy folks. It's pretty much uh, that easy. Don't overthink it. That's my new phrase. Don't overthink things. That's it, fishy folks. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, how-to video. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them down below. And of course, as always, check out my website, michaelsfishroom.com. I'm going to start cleaning this red tank, and uh, we're out of here, fishy folks. Have a spectacular day! Hiya, fishy folks, and welcome back to Michael's Fish Room. Today, how to clean your fry, 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 fry. <clears throat> Got the itches. <laughs> You gotta make the noise, especially when you get old. Welcome back to the channel, fishy folks. Today we're gonna be talking about how I clean guppy fried tanks. Now my method works for me. Hopefully, if you watch this video in its entirety, you learn something, maybe even something good. Anyway, uh, yeah, I, I don't, I don't know. Welcome back to the channel, Fishy Folks. Today we're going to be talking about my method for how I clean uh, fry tanks. Now, I see this question on social media. As you know, I like to troll the social media pages. and Not really troll, that's dumb. Obviously, if there's an issue or I haven't cleaned it in quite some time and the mum is this thick. Mum? The mum? The mum is this thick? Mush mouth. Uh, and, and actually, obviously, actually, mush mouth. 